Black holes are not giant sucking machines. Right. They just have a gravitational field. Gotcha. If you get really, really close, kiss your ass goodbye. Right. If you're not, you'll just maintain an orbit around it. Like we do the sun. Like we do the sun. Exactly as right. we do the sun. Right. We don't we don't crash into we don't the crash sun. Into We're the not sun. getting sucked into right, the sun. Right. And so if you step back, it looks like all the planets are spiraling around, which they are. Right. But they're not getting sucked into the sun. Right. All right. So the toilet bowl effect. Mm-hmm. That swirl. These are called spiral arms, and our understanding of them came of age while I was in graduate school. Because how do you maintain that? And because the inner parts of the galaxy actually will complete an orbit faster and, than and the, the outer, outer parts. parts. So you get this stretching of these coherent cloud formations that because the galaxy rotates, as we say, differentially, mm -hmm. which means the inner parts rotate Faster, faster than the, the outer, outer, parts. outer parts, it will drag it into the spiral shape. Right. And one of our big challenges was, how does it maintain the grand design two-arm spiral without over time just winding up on itself? Right. Okay, so that's where it got complicated, and we had to worry about what's called spiral density waves. It's not really a physical gaseous structure. The gas is everywhere, there's a density wave that's moving across the clouds, triggering star formation. Wow. So wherever this density wave is, there's star formation in that shape. So it's more complicated than it looks, but all I'm saying is everything is just simply orbiting the center of the galaxy. Right. And it's not like a toilet bowl that's ultimately gonna go down the tube. Right. So, time for area code.